CNN attempted to carry out a mafia-style hit on the Second Amendment, Republicans, and conservatives Wednesday night. I'll just say it right now, CNN is not an ally of the United States and its principles that this country was founded on. For anyone that actually tuned into CNN's town hall, they saw a media business go into business for the left. This really isn't something that anyone should be surprised by, since CNN hasn't done the greatest of jobs in being unbiased, i.e. Brian Stelter, Jim Acosta, Allison Camerata, Van Jones, Chris Cuomo, Wolf Blitzer, basically their entire lineup. The purpose of a town hall is to open up a dialogue within a community that aims to seek a common ground among differing ideas. And there were differing ideas during this town hall, but the opinions and ideas of non-liberals were booed and rallied against in a clear show of an agenda-driven narrative. The show that CNN put on at this town hall is eerily reminiscent of the North Korean propaganda machine and, oddly enough, the narrative that CNN is pushing will only lead to more deaths. At one point, NRA spokeswoman Dana Lash spoke about a female rape survivor that is now a proponent of gun ownership as a result of the trauma she had to go through. Just look at the crowd response after Lash even mentions that a rape survivor wants a gun to make her feel more safe. You've had a previous town hall where you spoke with a young woman named Kim Corbin, who was a college student who was brutally raped in her dorm. And one of the things that she speaks out about loudly now is how she wished she would have had the ability to be able to have some a shotgun, whatever it was, to defend herself. I was 20 years old when I lived on my own. I didn't live with my parents when I was 20. The CNN audience flat out didn't want to hear what Lash had to say. Oh, and can I just say that Marco Rubio deserves a medal for volunteering to stand up on that stage, recognize that a conversation was not part of CNN's agenda, and take abuse from people that basically have no concept of actual gun laws. And then there's CNN's use of children. To be fair, CNN isn't the only one literally using children as props for their war against the Second Amendment, but CNN did put a child activist in the face of Rubio. Check this out. Senator Rubio, it's hard to look at you and not look down the barrel of an AR-15 and not look at Nicholas Cruz, but the point is, you're here. This isn't about red and blue. We can't boo people because they're Democrats and boo people because they're Republicans. Re anyone who's willing to show change, no matter where they're from, anybody who's willing to start to make a difference is somebody we need on our side here. And this is about people who are for making a difference to save us and people who are against it and prefer money. So, Senator Rubio, can you tell me right now that you will not accept a single donation from the NRA in the future? I wish I could have, I wish I could have, uh, I wish I could have spoken. I wish I could have asked the NRA lady a question. I wish the NRA lady I, I could have talked to because I would ask her how she can look in the mirror considering the fact that she has children, but you know, maybe she avoids what those. Was that, I'm sorry? The... I don't freaking know. That's okay. okay. The question is about NRA yeah. money. I'm not gonna say anything about the comments of a child since he has merely been used as a pawn in the adult game of socialism, which is wrong, versus the basic human right to be allowed to protect yourself, which is right considering it's one of the founding principles of our country. Last night, CNN, officially declared an ideological war against anyone that doesn't fall in lockstep with their radical narratives. And you don't have to put up with this. Much like my last video, I'm simply gonna say, turn off your TV. If CNN doesn't have respect for the American people, then why do they deserve the American people's respect? The quick answer is that they don't. Keep in mind, CNN, much like other media organizations, is a business. They're in it for the money. CNN will have some talking head say something crazy so that people pay attention. If their ratings go up as a result, they receive more advertising money. That's why they don't care about straight reporting on any news story. Every single segment that they do has some kind of radical spin on it, not just to promote a barbaric agenda, but to make that almighty dollar. They are a business. They can conduct said business any way they like. It's their company. But we also have rights, and we should use those rights to turn off propaganda like this, or places like CNN, if they have their way, will make this country look like Germany circa 1936. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. For MRC TV, I'm Nick Kingatis.